everyone. How are you guys doing? I know you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Thank you and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Stellar Zone. Thanks for being part of this awesome family. So I've been trying to do this whole diet thing and do it right. And so I've been doing the keto, keto diet. Hopefully I don't fall off the wagon. But I, I am starting to see it as I just want to eat healthy. Like I don't want to like um, more like starve myself or anything, but I want to make better food food choices or in and i don't want to like go crazy about it so i'm like forget about keto forget about this i just want to eat healthy and be healthy and that um is what i am doing today i am making empanada so i came across this video of um this is not my own recipe so let me give um, a shout out this is not my recipe so you think it's my recipe so i came across this keto empanada which is empanada will be like meat pie in ghana and it's a keto meat pie in a sense or a keto empanada in a sense that you are not using the regular like bleach flour okay mm -hmm. you are using um almond you're using almond flour and i'm not using like regular meat this looks like meat <clears throat> this is not don't be fooled this is not like regular meat this is the beyond burger beyond, beyond meat if you guys have heard of this stuff see. You guys plant have it's plant burger based patties. burger patties. Mm -hmm. 20 grams of protein in one patty, and one patty is about four ounces. But it looks so, just like burger. But it looks just like burger in here. So it looks mm -hmm. like minced meat. And this is so good. This is actually my second time. We like it so much that I, I think this is going to be one of our favorite. Like, this would be better than even meat pie. Excuse me to say. So let me walk you through the rest so, of Tell me about the flour. Meat. Oh, the flour that I use is this. Um, blanched so this is blanched almond flour okay so that's what i have here and on top i have one teaspoon of garlic okay garlic powder garlic powder i have about 310 grams of mozzarella cheese here please do not buy the um fresh mozzarella because then you know there's the liquid in there if you try to melt it it can it will work but then it takes time so just buy uh, the, the, shredded. the shredded ones or you can find the regular ones that is not fresh, okay? So I have onions here, about a large size onion, because I like onions. So you can red just... Onion. Red onions. Red onions. You don't have to eat, use a lot of ingredients. I have one um, tomato diced up here. This is cilantro. I have a bunch of cilantro here. I have it all like cut, diced. I have this um, poblano pepper for spice, okay? To get a little kick. So I have one medium-sized poblano pepper. I have four garlic cloves here. I love garlic too, so as you can tell. And then the rest of my ingredient, two ounces of cream cheese, one, tea, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to sort of bring the flavor in the meat and everything together. I have some spices in Stella here. This is so Stella spice. And this is one tablespoon of... Um, baking powder okay which i am going to go ahead and put straight in here as well and then mix everything in here let's watch this meat too so let me watch the meat while steven is helping me i'm going to add excuse me one i'm going to be adding my onions so this is um i, I only use two of the parties i think first time i made this i used four and that was a lot of meat like that was a lot of meat if you are eating meat please use grass-fed beef okay but i want to be all my food now it's like even though today i have like two pieces of chicken from your food plant-based like, yeah we so, want it to be plant-based so i want it to be plant everything to, except for cream cheese is not plant-based <laughs> and the mozzarella is not plant-based either so you want to get close to plant-based as, as, as possible but you know, the animals that made those things were plant-based. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we have the heat on. I have it on um, about eight right now, cooking on eight. Okay. So after adding the onion, okay, and cooking with the meat for about two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And we have ginger. onion and garlic. We're going to need a breath mint after these things. <laughs> Then you go brush your teeth and then use some um, mouthwash. You'll be fine. I want to be healthy, so I eat a lot of garlic. And... 
Now I'm going to add the poblano pepper. Okay, you can use green pepper as well or jalapeno pepper. Alright, let's begin. I'm adding my tomato. My tomato. Tomato. This right here, let me try and remember to tell you what I have in here. Chicken that on you added. So that's what I'm adding now. Spice makes it nice. Uh -huh. So my guys, you can make this for your meat pie filling, okay? You can make the meat pie, but then um, use this for your filling. Where are they going to get Beyond Burgers in Ghana? <laughs> I mean, if I say my Ghana, it doesn't mean my Ghana is in Ghana. Someone can use uh, Beyond So now I'm adding my apple cider vinegar to sort of bring the flavors together, you know? Now, our last ingredient, the cilantro, cilantro, cilantro. So, even though this was uh, an inspiration from another YouTuber, um, I will put the link below. I don't think I necessarily did it the step <laughs> that she went, or I, I didn't follow the, especially when it comes to the spices, I like to. I never follow the recipe. Sometimes That's right. I get the idea. Got to add your own spice. I make it into my own. So, so my now my filling is ready. Pot, but I'm using the same pan that I used for my meat. I just cleaned it up, so now it's still warm. So I'm adding my cheese. Okay, remember this is about three hundred and ten gram of mozzarella cheese. So the idea is to just melt the cheese, okay? That's the idea. You're not frying the cheese, so. As delicious as that sounds. <laughs> We're not making pizza here. Look, I record it and then, okay. So now I'm adding my cream cheese. Got two cheeses. So the idea is to mix the cream cheese in here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm taking it off the fire now. So now I'm adding my mix. Yeah, the flour and the bacon. Yeah, keep, keep, keep going. <laughs> my shoulders are hurt. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding two eggs in here. Now I'm filling it with my meat, okay? So you want to put it like not in the middle but towards one end and then you just flip. Okay? And then I just push down. I don't even need a fork. Like I just make this works better that way. Voila. Voila. So to get the shape, to achieve the shape, like the, that round pie shape, what I do is I'm using my palm. I, how do I even call it? Um, Your palm? Yeah, I'm using my palm, okay? And then I'm just, um, how do you beat it like a wing? Like, see? And then I'm pushing. So I'm just turning your palm away. If you're doing it in front of you, you just bring your palm towards you. Thank you. <laughs> Come to the door. But not too thin. But not too thin, like I said. Just one way to get all your frustrations out. <laughs> if you need anger management, make empanadas. <laughs> Fill and flip. And then fill. Fill, flip, press, repeat. 
That's it. You had my assistant chef. <laughs> hey, hey, my husband. So you just press, like if it's folding over, if this. If it's too thin, just, yeah. If it's too thin, just fold it over. Just, you can use the fork, but I just want to use my, my hand to achieve that. A couple that cook together, stay together. So, mm -hmm. so we're egg washing this. Maybe you're a pro in this. <laughs> Did you go to La Cordon Blue, sir? Uh, no. No? To, oh. Can't afford it. <laughs> so you went to Stella went Zone? To Stella Zone. <laughs> Much cheaper. I like the benefits. <laughs> <laughs> you did not just say that I don't care about. So these are ready to go in the oven. I have the oven preheated at 400 degrees, okay? So since this is uh, mostly the, the shell part is mostly made out of cheese, what I do, you're going to bake this from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, okay? So what I do is when they start to brown, I bring the temperature down to about 350 degrees and then let them cook perfectly in the oven for about, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes, so. So it's going in the oven. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. Okay. Our empanadas or meat pie is more like veggie pie is ready. Okay. This is, I just took this out of the oven. I baked this. I, I kept the heat. Um, I didn't, did we lower it to 350? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we uh, we brought it down um, to 350 and then we just let this sit. We cooked it for about 12 minutes at 400 and then brought it down to 350 for the last few minutes. Okay, so if you don't want it like golden, I, I like it. We like it golden brown and crispy. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can enjoy it. So if you don't want it too golden brown, just bake it anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, or just bake it for the whole 15 minutes under 350 degrees. Fahrenheit. Okay, so yeah, this is it. This is, let me try because I know some people are like, oh, I thought she's gonna cut one. Hold on, let me do one. So this is so hot, but I just want to cut this so you guys will see. Um, see how it's so moist in there? Mm hmm. Nice, and you can tell the cheesiness. It's so cheesy. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't. I don't know. I don't want to. I'll have to Stephen try it because it's too hot. Oh, I get to burn my mouth? No. Because I know you like cheese. You get the idea. Or oh, the green thing is not drugs, it's moringa. Mm hmm. I know you like cheese, so this is like, okay. Yummy. All right, so yes, this was a keto inspiration that I got from a fellow YouTuber. I tried it. It looks good, tastes good. It's awesome. Check out the link below. And it's very filling, so I'm going to leave their YouTube link. I don't remember it on top of my head. So yes, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Share, hit the subscribe button, okay? And also the notification button so the that bell. every time the notification bell button every time i uh, i upload a new video you'll be one of the first people to get a um a notification to watch my amazing video so let's do this keto together let's eat and lose weight and feel fantastic and fabulous until i come your way again with another banging recipe have a blessed day bye